Hey guys, this is Manu Kalia, physical therapist and herbalist. So I'm going to show you a stretch to open up the front of the hip uh, and also get your hip flexors. Uh, hip flexors are muscles in the front of your hip that help you bring that the thigh up towards you. And we're going to use a couch. Now you can use a chair, uh, anything essentially that's stable and where you can put your foot up on. Now what you want to do is you want to start with your ideally your knee as far back as possible, okay? Uh, but if, if not, if you're, you don't have enough mobility, you can bring it forward too. The foot is up here in this position. So I like the stress because it really gets everything in the front part of the thigh and the leg, okay? And we're gonna do two different variations of it. So this way you can get the front hip capsule as well as your hip flexors, and you can get your quads also, front of your thigh muscles, okay? So the first part uh, you wanna do is, when, once you get yourself set up in the position is, and this also helps protect your low back, you wanna squeeze your butt muscles, right? When I tighten up my glutes, remember your glutes are opposite of your hip flexors. So, and glutes help you do hip extension, bring your uh, leg or thigh bone back. So when I tighten up my glutes, I am taking away some of the load off my low back, I'm targeting this area, right? So as soon as I tighten up, and as I get my pelvis, into a little bit of a posterior tilt, okay? So when I tighten up my glutes, and I'm gonna lean forward in this position while I maintain the glutes in a tightened position. So the first part of the stretch is, or the first variation of the stretch is, I tighten the glutes and I shift my body weight forward. So as I bring my body weight forward onto that front leg, I'm really getting a good pull right in the front that hip, okay, and any, even in this area, uh, slightly to the lateral side. So as I bring my weight forward, I'm gonna stretch that front capsule, get some of the hip flexors, and I'm gonna lean and I'm gonna work at finding the sticky spots, stiff areas, and I'm gonna oscillate back and forth. So hang out in that position while, once again, while you maintain the, your glutes in a tightened position and or putting your pelvis in a slightly posterior tilt. Okay, so that's the first part of it. Uh, and the second, and of course, is also helping my low back stay in a relatively neutral position. So the second part is where I wanna target and I wanna get more of my quads, the front of the thigh too. So if for that, I'm gonna lean back so I'm in an upright position. Now in this position, same thing. I tighten up my glutes again, right? And I bring myself into more an upright position. Now I'm really getting a lot of pulling that's taking place in the front of the thigh, okay? And as I maintain that posterior tilt or that glute contraction, and I lean back further, I get even a stronger pull right in this area, okay? One other thing that I like to do is, I like to take my hand if I wanna, um, uh, uh, I wanna guide myself to maintain a better position, I'm gonna place my hand right here above my glute. So what that does is, it reminds me not to hyperextend, not to arch backwards, because that's not gonna get you as much range from here. You're gonna be getting it hinging at your low back and getting the range from this region. So when I place my hand here, tighten my glutes, and I glide that hand forward. So when I do this, that really hits this area. I'm giving myself a reminder that this is where I'm trying to hinge. This is where I'm trying to get the range, okay? So same thing. you. Glide yourself forward, hang out, try to hit it from different spots, okay? While you maintain, you might wanna lean back a little bit more. So try to get it from different spots. Spend about four to five minutes really searching for those sticky spots so you can work at mobilizing, opening up that tissue, okay? Uh, make sure you don't feel any discomfort in your low back. So really kick in your abdominals also. So kick in your abdominals, your glutes, your pelvis in a posterior tilt position that'll really help you uh, isolate this region, all right? So spend, a, as I said, four to five minutes really working on those tissues. Uh, make sure you try out both sides and see how it feels. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment, uh, subscribe to the channel, and check out the site, guys. Got lots of info on it. Thanks.